Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. Spring is sort of sprung in the Midwest. And so today we're breaking the chassis out of the barn and we're taking it to our club's annual toot and tune. What's a toot and tune you might ask? Well, you're about to find out. Most people across the country experience four seasons. In the Midwest, and especially in Michigan, we experience 11. Every year, somewhere between the spring of deception and the pollening, our local Mark Club holds our annual Tootin Tune at a club member's house. It's a chance for us to all break our cars out of their wintry prisons and get them all tuned up for the year ahead. Our Model A, will not finished, is running and driving. So not to be left out, we fired it up, loaded it on the flatbed trailer, and we're on our way. We're members of a local chapter of the Model A Restorers Club. We've got a very active club that holds monthly events, breakfasts, get-togethers, and dinners and tours all around the region. The unofficial beginning of car season is our toot and tune. Many of the local membership bring out their cars and we spend a few hours on a Saturday morning making sure everyone's Model A is ready for car season. Every club has members with different specialties and everyone isn't a master Model A mechanic. The toot and tune provides a great opportunity for folks who aren't as mechanically inclined or beginners simply just learning about their cars to come and get some help preparing them for a new season. And they have oh, yeah. issues. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you need a hand in there? Well, I got two left hands right now, I think. That's not the differential. Yeah. <laughs> How much you pull them to? 45. Another great aspect of the Tootin' Tune is that you get a chance to check out the other cars in the club and you often come away with a little bit of inspiration or an idea or two for something you can do with your car. Here are a few of the other cars that came to the event today.
Typically, we do minor repairs and adjustments, like brakes, horns, timing, lights, and so on. Before we were done today, we'd worked through a few carburetor issues, tightened up a club member's steering, and adjusted a hood for better fit and alignment. Overall, we couldn't have asked for a better day. The sun was shining, the weather was pleasant, and we had a great turnout of guys and gals to help with the cars. If you're not a member of a club, or your club doesn't have some sort of early season tune-up event, I highly recommend adding one to your club's yearly schedule. It's a great way to connect people and their cars together for the long-term engagement and benefit of our hobby. With the event concluded, we loaded up the Model A back on the trailer and hit the road. The next stop, though, wouldn't be back to Epic Neon. It was time to, at least temporarily, reunite the body and the rebuilt chassis of our car. The Model A is going to be hanging out at my place for a little while this summer, as we remove the body off the other chassis and continue that phase of the restoration. Next up is our gas tank. We've got a bit of work to get it off the body, and once we do, we'll get a better idea of the shape that it's in and the lengths that we'll have to go to in order to breathe some new life into it. Join us next time as we get back to work on the body and continue our journey restoring this 1930 Ford Model A on epic restorations.